My plan today is to focus more on the spot metering than the actual, you know, playing around with the camera thing. Okay, this, <laughs> this minuscule device is the Profi 6 meter with a spot attachment made by made by Gosson. It will do one, five and, and, and ten degree spots. As with all spot meters, for, uh, meters first thing you do is you check that you've got your film speed set right. I have. Okay, now what I'm going to do today is okay, let's go back to the negatives we looked at yesterday. Um, the shadow part of the tree branches the shadow part of the tree branches were basically clear. Um, so I've got to, I'm going to meter those with the one degree spot. Which is there. Okay. The one degree Scott's there. Uh, and that's one eighth of F45. That's what I had yesterday. Something's wrong. Maybe my battery's gone flat here. Okay, I just metered the highlight there. Okay, let's talk in terms of EV. That's EV 13. I'm metering the shadow. That's EV 8. So that's five stops. EV 8 is. Four seconds, not a quarter. <gasps> Was I reading it wrong yesterday? Anyway, we'll check. Okay. <laughs> right. That's that's a quarter. That's four. So ah, okay, this is working. It is working. Okay, so my spot here. Everything's steaming up is there. Now, here's what I don't like about the zone system is it ends up being subjective. Okay, and I'll tell you why. When you take an incident meter reading, the meter tells you the exposure you need to get mid gray. When I'm doing this meter reading, it's also telling me what I need. Let's see, okay, let's, let me meter something for you. I'm gonna meter the one degree spot is just about that big. Right? So I'm going to meter that from here. Yep. Can you see that? Maybe you can see that. Maybe you can. There you go. Hopefully you can. Anyway. The, the little dot is the one degree spot. I'm metering that and that says eight seconds at f45. 
Now, where do I want to place that on my zone system? And the answer is wherever I want. Now, usually if it's a shadow, you do it, zone five is mid gray, zone five is dark, zone zero is paper black, zone one is one above that, zone two is you're just starting to see detail, zone three is shadow detail. So, to go from five to three is two stops. So, to put that on, let me meet it where I really want to photograph here. It's about the same. I want uh, eight seconds at F45 to put that on zone three. We'll go to two seconds at F45. Now, a lot of people then start metering highlights and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do that because uh, I'm not adjusting development, I'm just going to expose this at two seconds at f45. Beauty. This is exciting, isn't it? Okay. Ah, I need my cheat sheet. f45. Because, come on everybody say it after me, reciprocity failure, yay. And two seconds goes to five seconds, corrected. Yep. So we need a five second exposure. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, where are you? I'm gonna do one exposure at two seconds, uncorrected. I'm gonna do these in the same fuel holder, so I know what they are. Beauty. So, let me put my stopwatch on. Thousand dollar stopwatch, huh? Uh, no, need to get a clock. Stopwatch, start. Okay, so I need to do two seconds, F45, let me check. Bulb, F45, yep. Not one, two. Fab. This one's got to be five seconds. Oop. I think the light, is the light fading? I want to check. If only there was a way of knowing, right? Yeah, the light's dropped down a bit. I'm going to wait for it to come up a second. Oh, here we go. It's coming back. Anyway, this one will be um, two seconds corrected to five seconds. Oh no, it is about the same. I would, I'm just not reading it right. Cool, there we go. I'd corrected it on the um, meter reading thingy. Okay, so let's do this. So, five seconds. Not 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we've got one more sheet film. What should I do? Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a, an incident meter reading. I've got the name right this time. Okay, see how the meter comes apart? I'm going to take an incident meter reading. In one of the darkest parts, this will be dark enough for me. And that says, ooh, four seconds F45. I mean, the light might have changed since we're here. So four seconds F45, let me run up here. Four seconds F45 goes to 12 seconds, corrected. Four seconds was 12 seconds. Didn't I just say that? I did. Um, one of the YouTuber guys, Shane Dignam, used to use a Toyo 4.5, Toyo 4.5, Toyo 8x10 like this. Um, he's now using a Chamonix because I guess um, got tired of carried around and somebody paid him to. And um, he used to have all of his uh, reciprocity information on the side there like that. Which is cool. It shows he's actually a working photographer, right? Okay, so we're going to do 12 seconds. One, naught, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beautiful. Okay. I had quite a fun night last night getting everything um, processed, edited, and loaded. I'll do that again, see if I can get it out real soon. Let's take a look at the negatives you made. We're going to start off with uh, the worst one that I took a couple of days ago. Uh, one eighth of a second, four stops underexposed. Next one's was shot at a quarter of a second. This is three stops underexposed. Remember the proper exposure should have been two seconds. Here's the one that I took uh, today. This was two seconds, but not corrected for reciprocity. Notice the lack of shadow detail. It's looking better, like a shadow detail there. Okay, two seconds with correction for reciprocity makes five seconds. Much better shadow detail, but the deepest blacks are still missing stuff. This is the this is the the four seconds. So another stop, twelve seconds with reciprocity. This is looking the best. Now this was the one. Well, let's compare. This is the eighth, this is the worst, this is the best. This is what a good negative looks like. This is what a bad negative looks like. Um, it all comes down to how much shadow detail you need. So the two second one might have been fine. Uh, if you try and invert it, this is how it looks. Right? Uh, this is looking okay. This is looking better. In fact, that's acceptable. This one here... Uh, this one's fabulous, uh, but the previous one might have been fine. The question then becomes, the best looking one was the one that was made with the incident light meter reading, remember? Mm. 
Maybe we don't need a spot meter.